We're going to talk through some really great technical innovations that we've done. Uh, there's a lot change at Ashdown. I think if we ever speak to you about Ashdown, you guys might go, oh yeah, Ashdown, big valves, big stadium sound, you know, big tubes, eight by tens and stuff like that. What's going on with the technology? How's things advanced? Uh, well, a lot of things have changed. And before we start the chat, every stereotype you've got of Ashdown, you can kind of forget about it. It's not Ashdown as you remember it now. Uh, it all started a couple of years back uh, with a thought that came around. There was a big nudge uh, from Gregor. If you guys go on YouTube and you go and check out uh, Base the World, uh, that's a great place to start out with. The reason being is that Base the World were responsible partly uh, for this little box of joy that's behind me. Uh, now, anyone that's following Ashdown, you guys will know about the LB30. It was a 30 watt uh, all tube head. Sounded amazing. Loads of saturation on the front end, but it was a classic tube head. Now, the problem with tube heads, is they've always got to be under load. Uh, you've got to plug them into a cab, otherwise the charge comes back, damages all the components, stuff like that. So what Gregor said is, hey, can we put a heat soak, put an attenuator inside the head, and then maybe do a collaboration? Uh, so Ash Sound got together with something very special, and that was Two Nose technology, and the development is the LB2.N, which is what's behind me here. So what you see here is a 30 watt all chow. This is full on analog tube front end, tube back end, nice comprehensive uh, four band EQ with a gain trim. So that's not a gain in, that's a gain trim, which changes like the threshold of how it works as a linear pot. It's a really nice thing, makes it nice and smooth. Sounds like a much bigger amp than just 30 watts. But what's really, really special about this isn't what's on the front, it's what's on the back. Um, the attenuator that's put into this wasn't just any little stock thing. It's actually a torpedo. So if you go and check out on uh, Two Notes uh, platform, you'll see the Two Notes torpedo. Romeo has also been launched today. That's internal, that's built into this. So when you turn this thing around on the back, there's an awful lot of things that you might not have seen. Can someone help me out? This is heavy. <laughs> okay, so if we look on the back, um, you're gonna see on the left-hand side, a standard DIL. So that is straight out of the tube. Nothing there, no grains. That's a full on tube DI nothing in the chain as you would. Now that's the first thing, normal speaker outlets as well. But the thing you're gonna see there that's different is headphones. Well without a heat soak you can't have that because this is a valve preamp. It's not uh, a digital preamp, okay? So you can't do that normally, but it's been done because of a torpedo. There's also a torpedo out and the DAW USB. This is the prototype. We've moved over to USB-C now because of the U uh, EU laws. You've got to have e uh, USB-C globally. So this means essentially you can have a 30 watt all tube head as nothing more as a DAW on your desktop. That's never been seen before. Um, so you can turn up on a gig with this, with uh, a Tuno technology uh, DI out with a cab sim on it. Um, or you can have a standard XLR out, you can use it as a headphone out at home, or actually as a DAW interface, which is amazing, absolutely brilliant. The thing about the two notes, if any of you guys aren't aware of what they are, two notes have a wonderful suite, what's known as the wall of sound. And what they've done there is they have profiled every single cab in existence, all of them. Um, so you can have any cab in any room with any microphone from any distance. So if you wanna have an eight by 10, you know, that's not part of the Ashdown range, you can preload it, it's totally fine. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping with an app on your mobile phone. Now, I'm a bit of a technological caveman, I'm not gonna lie, okay, I'm an analog guy. So what I want is I wanna have some sort of way of doing this, which isn't gonna be too, like, involved, shall we say, okay? Well, look on the front. So here's our EQ, at the end here, we've got uh, our cap sim. So you've literally got six ways to select a switch. And what that is, is what cab you get on the torpedo out. So not the XLR, the torpedo. The cab sim, you can literally have 1x10, 1x12, 2x12, 8x10, 16x10. Uh, however you want to do it, you want an old B15, you can have a 15 here, put it on a cardboard floor, <laughs> carpet floor, use a ribbon mic, put it in a large room, small room, and it's preset. So that means if we're turning up on a gig, this is all I need. I can use the XLR on the back for my own in-ears, I have closed market. I'm going to have the XR, the other one, going to the main front of house, and they're going to hear an 8x10, but I'm just turning up with that, okay? What's really great about the two note stuff is that, although there's the wall of sound, which is a very comprehensive package for uh, from two notes, we've actually also done the Ashdown suite. So if you want to go on there, they've got a specified uh, Ashdown thing, and you can access absolutely everything 
with the two notes app. So you're in a position now where you can connect your phone to a 30 watt all valve and then go, okay, I'm gonna have that cap swipe a thing. And then it's gonna preload on number six, which is absolutely amazing. If you don't wanna use that technology, just go out of the standard DI, bypass the whole thing. What's really great is the whole thing. Sweet, it's got a, a heat soak, so you can just use it on your desktop like you would any other practice amp. And what's really great is it means you don't have to have a heater in your studio because the valves can keep you warm. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, thing is, is once this came into uh, nutrition and it was actually in circulation, we thought what we'd do is we'd take that idea and start putting it into the rest of the range. And the first big set is it mean we had to have clear division about what was available. First thing you see behind me here is you're going to see uh, the studio range. Studio range goes from 8, 10, 15, and 12. Um, it's using what we refer to as the original uh, tune, which is going to come out. So let's have a look. So this is going to be our budget entry form today. We've got uh, 10s, 8s, 12s, 15s, wedges. All of the amps are bypassable, so you can use these as power cabs, essentially, without the Ashton EQ. Check this out. 300 watt, 1 by 15 head and cab. This isn't graphite, this is birch, okay? So, with a pinky, all right? And it hurts. Okay, right now, all of the amplifiers are inside these are all based upon our original L. Uh, we're on the Evo 3 generation now. The original L has also joined that generation. You can see straight away, Ashdown has really upped his game here. Comprehensive five band EQ, plug in and play, no messing. Um, the Root Master is his big brother. Onboard compression, DI, if anybody knows about a good a heritage, we know about Trace Elliott and stuff like that, there's definitely a nod to some of that background here. So we're getting some seriously higher end quality that we kind of, well, I don't want to say we don't expect it from Ashdown, but there's definitely characteristics here that we don't know. 100% clean, shapeable, five band EQ, onboard compression, onboard drive, it's all analog, but look at the ends. That stuff that we saw from the two notes has now been put on as an analog pad sim. It's not digital, guys. It's all been done with capacitors inside. So we matched up a 1 by 10, saw the WAV file, and then matched that out footprint with capacitors. That's all accessible from the back. Now, if you're buying this sort of system, we can kind of predict the earnings and how much surface cash you've got. I'm for one, if I'm at home, my head is normally sitting on top of my cabs. That's its bench, right? So we've got, you can turn off the headphones, uh, you can turn off the speakers, use a headphone out on the back. Once again, guess what? Straight into your computer. Really cool little things, little upgrades, very small little details. The VU's obviously there, color coded for views and things. Really, really nice with impressive things. The cab sim itself, you do cab sim balanced or ported, sealed 10 or a 15, and then punch it in or punch it out. Because we know that, guys, you talk about very modern bass players. Let's talk about, say, guys like Steve Lawson. Really good place to start, okay? Use an awful lot of effects and integrated performances with things like laptops and stuff. What we've got now is you've got a capability to take your computer, plug your computer into this head. Yeah. You've got a line in mix. So if I'm using a drum machine or loops into the head and I want to use 60% of that volume, the other 40% comes from my bass, and then that is then lined out to your cab. So this is now being used as a mixer. That's great, man. This is, there's been a lot of performance engineering on here. And that's always the thing with Ashdown. It's not just Ashdown amps, it's Ashdown engineering. It's always been Ashdown engineering. Always getting artists feedback, talking about things that we need to tweak. This has been put into a preamp as well. We talk about that. And those details was just mentioning, you'll see some of that coming through on that range. So this is our benchmark studio range. The Root Master is the big brother, and that's where we can go over here. So the Root Master's available in six and 800 watts. Everything that we just spoke about with the EQ, you can punch in or bypass if you want to use external EQs. That just means it just becomes a power amp. So if you're using Kempers, Origin Effect, Fractal Audio, Line 6, anything you want, that's okay. Pop it in, take out the EQ, you're just using the power amp now, so you can use any preamp you want, all right? But you know you've also got a backup EQ should your pedalboard go down or something. That's kind, that's nice. All the cabs, 110, 112, ported, incredibly focused, crazy powerful. Bigger cabs, one hand pickup. I'm not joking, you saw me a minute ago, I picked up the one by 15 with a pinky. You can pick that up with one arm. What's really cool is that the original L, the dimensions, is equating for the mono pocket on the outside. So if you've got 
mono gig bag and stuff, that head's gonna go inside the outside. It's designed to, which is really good. Now, quality, transformers and stuff. All of our pedals have been uh, refined, not redesigned because we weren't doing anything wrong, but we definitely answered the call to some bottom players. So what do we do? Well, there's always a big thing about having headroom. More headroom you've got, the more three-dimensional and changes the architecture of the sound of your signal. But what we've done is we put nine volts across everything, but redesigned so much of the outfit. This is the new Ashdown Pro DI. It's the EQ that you saw in the Root Masters. But what's really great here is that's got an isolated hand-wound transformer inside it. Now, to give you an idea of where you see that quality, hand-wound transformers, that's Neve. I mean, you just say that word and you go, well, that's serious quality. That is a heavyweight preamp now. So it's a pretty comprehensive EQ, but it's the quality. If you're going to buy a DI box, you want an actual DI. That's what's in that hand-wound clipping. Look at the pad. Normally sevens and tens and fifteens, three dB. We've done that purposely so that it doesn't suffocate active bases. Okay, we had a lot of heritage with things like the twelve band, uh, the twelve band six hundred, which came out. That was a nod to the Trace Elliott background, the MK five hundred with Mark King and stuff like that. So we're using high end uh, graphite instrument statuses and stuff like that. But we don't want to suffocate that EQ, so we took the back down. So you get more of the tonal qualities of the bases, the instruments going in there. It's absolutely amazing. Room Master is all there. Obviously, he's the button was just here. We had Lomenzo on here as well. Stevie Wonder's come past. He's to do with motorhead uh, with the meter headphones. He's a button base of doom is essentially an ABM. But all of these heads are also being upgraded to have the Kim Pap Sims as well. We're not quite there. So that's going to be heavy. You know, if you look, think about the old days, let's just remind you guys ABM. Blue. Okay, and then you think about what I've just spoke about over there. Ashdown, in a very short period of time, have come ahead massively. Uh, the Shield Sender Funk Face pedal, the Giza Button, the Base of Doom, John Mayen from Dream Fit and his pedal, the Mentor, uh, Mega Drive has all been launched. They're all 9 volt pedals now. Go on uh, ashdownengineering.com or if you want to hear me rabbing on a little bit more. Uh, I've done all of the promo, all the videos, um, which are now on the YouTube page. So go over there, go and check them all out. Come and find me if you want to as well. Ask any questions direct, it's all good. So it's all good. Uh, guys, Base Gear, I hope you enjoyed the brief little tour. Um, one last little thing you might want to think about, this is going forward, is that Ashdown did a thing called a Tone Pocket, which is a battery powered uh, headphone amp. Uh, we're currently putting a Bluetooth signal into that. The reason we're doing all that is because we've now released the desktop Elizabeth Line. Elizabeth Line is Bluetooth capability is absolutely stunning quality. This is all battery loaded up, 16 hours battery life. But we get the powered version as well. There's two brothers, the Betsy, the Pizza, and the Pity. Okay, and they're all named after the children, obviously, of Her Majesty. So it's all good. Uh, guys, the base gear, thank you so much for hanging out. Go and check out Ashdown Engineering. Not just base amps, engineering as well. I'm Phil Man, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.